that's great. You know, we use our eyes to navigate the web, and so graphics feel really important. Also important is being able to build Firefox, because it's one of the most complicated pieces of software around. To tell us more about that is Lawrence. Hello, Mozilla. <laughs> Mozilla is a software project. Mozilla's software is built by people. Our software is built by us. We talk about needing more people, needing more of us, but we're capped. At some point, we simply can't add more people. Our inclination, which is natural, is to try and work harder or faster to make up this gap. We talk about people. What we really need is more time. To go faster, we need time to build for quality. We need to focus on using our time productively. This fall, we ran an engineering productivity survey. We asked engineers if everything were more awesome, how much more productive do you think you could be? This is what stands out to me. Two thirds of our engineers think that they can be at least 25% more productive. 25% more productive, that's like hiring 80 additional engineers. I know I'd love to have 80 additional engineers. <coughs> Chris? <laughs> so, how do we make things more awesome? I wanna talk to you about three areas. Process, tools, and machines. So let's talk about process. Way back, all the way back to 1981, Barry Beam, a professor at UFC, described the relative cost of fixing an error the further into the software development life cycle that you progress. There are two key points to take away from this. First, the later you find an error, the more expensive it is to fix it. Second, the cost of fixing an error rises exponentially as you progress. While cost in terms of dollars is certainly a focus, the bigger piece of this for us is time. This year, we shipped 14 point releases and over 3,000 changes to beta. This is the operation zone. This is where we spend a lot of time, and this needs to stop. Our release process, or as it's more affectionately referred to, the train model. It served us well, but we've changed. The way that we work has changed, and our process needs to change as well. When we get back from Orlando, our release management team and our Firefox quality team are gonna put forth a proposal to include quality criteria into our release process. This is about knowing that code is good before it chugs along the trains, before it goes from nightly to Aurora, from Aurora to beta, and finally from beta to release. I wanna be really clear about the intention of this change. Our intention is, if the code isn't ready, it does not ship. Next, tools. Put simply, our tools need to be faster. Our peers at Facebook have a saying that I think really says, really speaks to what we are trying to do. We don't want humans waiting on computers. We want computers waiting on humans. I wanna tell you about what we're doing with the build system. The biggest time loss for compiling Firefox and Fennec is compiling C++. This is a task that isn't even required to get this job done. So, we're gonna remove this requirement. Our measures show that build times currently are around 20 minutes. What we are committing to do is decrease build times from 20 minutes to two. <laughs> now, machines. Our infrastructure includes roughly 1,000 physical machines in our data center and up to 2,000 virtual machines that are active at any given point in time. We need these machines to do more. Machines can find patterns in our code, they can identify well-known issues, and they can execute well-defined processes quickly and predictably, like automatically identifying stability, performance, and web regressions, or waiting around to land your code when the tree is closed. Back in Whistler, we talked about plans to ship Autoland in time for Orlando. 
it is my great pleasure to ask you to please help me welcome Mark Cote to the stand to demo Autoland. <laughs> Thanks, Lawrence. Our code submission process at Mozilla has been very manual. Export and upload patches to Bugzilla for review, push commits to try for testing, and then land commits you know, if the tree is open or otherwise like take a nap or a short vacation or something like that. <laughs> Various people have built tools to deal with this problem to some degree, but we need to fix this in a single place for everyone. That's why we're building this process into Moz Review, our new code review tool. Next week, we're going to enable a big step towards streamlining and automating code submission. Autoland to inbound. You only have to push your commits to a single place, Moz Review, and then you can easily send them to try and land them. I'm going to play a video of a demo I recorded last week. Pushing to Moz Review is essentially the same as pushing to any repo. Moz Review will also automatically detect reviewers from your commit message. Sending your commits to try is as easy as clicking a few buttons and entering a try string. As they are available, results will be summarized in Moz Review with a link to Tree Herder for the full result set. Landing commits is just as easy. Moz Review will automatically amend your commit message to reflect the actual reviews granted. Once you confirm it, that's it. If the tree is closed, Autoland will retry until it's open. As with try, results are summarized in Moz Review. And there are links to Tree Herder and Mercurial. As I mentioned, this is only the beginning. We're going to build on this infrastructure, starting with automatic quality checks before landing and fully automated, intelligently scheduled landings. When you all get home next week, Autoland will be waiting for you. Good job. <clears throat> we need to find time to build our core. We've got a good plan in place. In six months, we're all going to be back together in London. We're going to cut the number of regressions that we ship. We're going to reduce build times for Firefox and Fennec by 90%. Starting next week, Autoland will land your code with one click. And developing for Firefox is going to get a hell of a lot more fun. Thank you, and may the force be with you.